hello guys welcome back to stock for us today we have another training session about Webull. i want to discuss about the most popular indicator in the market especially for day traders do you know what i'm talking about you will figure out soon okay let's go I want to talk about the most popular indicator for day traders, which is VWAP. So what is the VWAP? VWAP is Volume Weighted Average Price. VWAP is a short-term trend indicator used on intraday charts. The intraday charts are time frames that happen throughout the day, like 1 minute, 5 minutes, 1 hour, it measures the average price of the stock weighted by trading volume and shows up as a signal line. Professionals and traders can use the web app as a benchmark to aid their trading strategy by using this indicator to identify liquidity points or as part of a border trend confirmation strategy. It helps them determine the target price for a particular asset. VWAP is a trading indicator which averages the closing price during the given time period. VWAP is a lagging indicator because it is based on previous data. The signals from the VWAP could be confusing at some points. But how we can use VWAP in our trading? The VWAP line could be used as a support or resistance for the price action. Since the indicator averages the total periods of the day, it has psychological meanings on the chart. If the price approaches the VWAP line from the below and starts hesitating in the area, then the VWAP may be considered resistance. If this happens in the opposite direction, then the indicator might be able to support the price, creating a bullish bounce. If the price increases a lot after a bullish breakout through the VWAP, yes, it means the bullish trend is very strong. However, if this happens for a short period of the time, it also means that the price is way above its average value and it might be time for a decrease. The same is in force for bearish breakouts, but in the opposite direction. This acts the same way as the overbought oversold signals from the oscillators. <laughs> Okay, let me activate the VWAP in Webull and use it on the chart. Here on the Webull, if you go to the chart section and click on the edit indicators, then you will see all the indicators in Webull. Right now, the moving average is activated. So we have to find VWAP and activate the VWAP. Here is the VWAP. So you have to select the VWAP and just leave it as VWAP 14. You can select any color that you want. I'll just leave it as is. And then click on done. Now we can see the VWAP line on the chart. Here is the PayPal chart. And you can see here is the VWAP in orange color. Normally the price likes to be close to the VWAP. So normally the price likes to go and touch the VWAP. Just see here, every time the price went below or above the VWAP, it go back and touch the VWAP again. Even when there is a breakout, either way, later it likes to go back and touch the VWAP. See here, there is a breakout and then it likes to go and touch the VWAP again. Here we have a breakout from the top and then it goes and touch the VWAP again. Even here, when we have a huge breakout from this area, then it went down and touched the VWAP again. See here is the 1 minute chart, and here is the 5 minute chart. The VWAP on 5 minute chart is different than the 1 minute chart, but it's still the same. The price likes to go and touch the VWAP, so as I said, it is a short term indicator and it is good for day traders. But we have to be careful about using this indicator 
because sometimes if there is a huge breakout or there is a breakout because of the news then the price may not go and touch the VWAP that much see here is the Tesla chart it was trading around the VWAP and then there was a breakout in this level it came back and touched the VWAP again and then another huge breakout and then as you see it traded above the VWAP for the whole day just see all above the VWAP and it didn't came back to touch the VWAP again and VWAP is closed by end of the day and here is another example on SPY chart. The price has a breakout from the VWAP and then it touched the VWAP again. And then here we have another breakout and traded all over the VWAP for the whole day. And here is another example on UPST chart. Here it had a breakout and then it came back and touched the VWAP again. But it couldn't pass VWAP to the top and it still traded under the VWAP. And here you can see it came back and touched the VWAP again. Traded a little bit above the VWAP and then it went down to the VWAP line again. Almost for the whole day. So for day trading a strategy, when we see the price is way below the VWAP, we can make a short-term position. And then when it reaches to the VWAP, it is the time to sell the position. Then it could be a good point to open a position around this area and sell in this area which is way above the VWAP. VWAP is a good indicator for the option traders. Okay, today I tried to discuss VWAP with you very quickly. Hope you learned something and you can use VWAP in your trading. Have a great day and see you next time.